Hello and welcome to the CIA Corner. My name is Obed Jerry, your host for today. And you know what we do here? We we'll make commentaries, investigations, and analysis on topical issues. And yes, you out there can also be a part of the show. Please subscribe to our channel if you're yet to subscribe. Turn on your notification button and connect with us across all our social media platforms. And do not forget, your comments and thoughts and reactions are important to us. Of course, we'd like to hear what you have to say as regards what we discuss here. Well, today, as usual, we bring out um, different topics to discuss here on the CIA. Here we'll be talking about how the Federal Road Safety Corps um, intercepted 35 impounded, 35 vehicles, 35 trailers, conveying over 980 passengers. Well, let's go for a very quick break. When we come back, we look into the story properly. Welcome back from that very quick break. Yes, the story says um, the Federal Road Safety um, Corps, FROSC, um, impounded 35 vehicles, um, 35 trailers, not just ordinary vehicles, trailers that are used for goods and services, um, intercepted um, 35 trailers that were conveying over 980 passengers. Now, one would wonder why would the FROC intercept, impound these trailers when they know that these trailers are for individuals? These trailers are used for business purposes, and while they are they are not conveying um, illegal or illicit substances, rather they are using it to um, move people from one destination to another. Well, the truth is. These trailers are made at defined, predefined, are um, strategized to use to convey only products, only goods and services. Let's say, um, like the Dangote, um, the Dangote company uses these trailers to move cement, salt, sugars, and other um, food products, while other companies use it to transport as small as ties, granites, and other um, rice, even um, livestock. But People are now using it um, as a yardstick to move people from one state to another. And why the FRC um, in Chastep, um, why the FRC started this procedure of impounding these trailers is because they've given them warnings that they should not do that. Imagine carrying over 100 persons in one trailer and putting this person's life at risk. Even when they carry only products, when they carry um, goods and services, we could see situations whereby these trailers get um, involved in accidents and destroy these properties, these goods and services. Now, come to think of it. Now, let's look at the angle of when it has accidents, when it conveys human beings. You can imagine the number of lives that have been lost. And I don't know why we Nigerians like to indulge in these kind of practices, like to put our lives at risk. We've seen situations whereby trailer not carrying anything, not uh, an empty trailer would capside, fall over um, to the roadside and kill people. We could see just in Southeast, just today, we could hear stories of five persons that were on the pedestrian lane and a trailer fell break and it crushed them and they lost their lives. Now, imagine if some persons were being conveyed in this trailer, the number of casualties, the number of um, fatalities, the fatality rate would have been in the increase. Now, Nigerians are doing this um, penny-wise pound foolish in the sense that you are trying to save cost by entering these trailers to save costs to make a maybe a cheaper transport or a free a means of transportation while at the detriment of your own health at your at your own risk situations like this still occur in these tankers tankers that carry petrol kerosene diesel and fuel we could see situations whereby in nigeria here in different states where um, these trailers will fail break and fall over roll over and bust out controlling con containing petrol and other substances um, people, Nigerians, will come and be scooping from these things, and at the end, we'd hear at times it would catch fire. It would catch fire, it would explode, burning people, burning houses, attack, um, affecting lives and properties. I don't know why we Nigerians are putting our lives at risk doing such which is not good now to the frsc union the frsc body that is doing this impoundment of these trailers what then happens to these trailers when you impound them what then happens to these persons because we could see that 
when, according to the story, according to the FRIC boss, he was saying that when this, this um, total number of 35 trailers were impounded, were intercepted and impounded in different states in Nigeria along the Abuja Expressway, the Kaduna Expressway, and the local Jabenway Expressways, while these persons, while these trailers were intercepted and impounded, these passengers, over 980 persons, 987 or thereabouts, they were asked to come down from these trailers. They were asked to come down from these trailers and they were cautioned on the implications of um, going through these modes, these risky modes of transport. And they were left at that spot to go and look for means to get home. Now you putting them at that situation at the moment. How do you, how sure are you that these persons are safe at that point where they are? How sure are you that these persons are financially buoyant to fit their transport to get to their destinations? Some of them would excuse this for the situation of um, how hard the country is, how the cost of living is. But why not, while you make these measures to intercept and impound the um, trailers that are conveying human beings, why not make at least avail available measures, transport systems that, that are subsidized to help these persons? Because for a person, I believe for a person to want to leave a comfortable um, luxury bus, a comfortable transport system, to go um, enter a trailer, to stand for hours, to get to their destination, I believe either they don't have that amount to foot these bills, this transport, or they have little or nothing to offer to, um, that is why they prefer to stand to get to their destination. Now, while, while you are making these plans, while you are making these um, declarations that you would impound these vehicles, that these trailers that are um, conveying people instead of goods and services, why not make um, vehicles available, transport systems available at a subsidized level? Okay, if it's supposed to be around 1,000, make it around 500, so that any, any, any trailer you intercept, any trailer you are to impound, why telling these passengers to come down then you board them in these available and um, subsidized uh, means of transport so that they get to their destination on time and safely rather than leaving them on the streets. Okay, go and look for means and get to your destination. What if while they are there, they put their lives at risk and they get kidnapped, they get killed and get attacked. We know how the country is at the moment. We know how unsafe it is. We know how the level of insecurity has risen. So please, the FRC is doing a very, FRC is doing a very good job at intercepting these, these um, trailers that are doing this illegal conveying of people. But the federal government and the FRC bosses should do better. Please look for ways to help them subsidize, subsidize these measures so that when you intercept them, you help these people get to their destination safely. And I feel the federal government to still sensitize the people more on the damages, the risk of um, boarding these um, trailers, these goods um, trailers, instead of boarding normal luxury buses that they are supposed to use for their transport system. They should come out and inform the public more, go to societies, go to rural areas, go to even urban areas. Let these people know the implications of these things. Do it more on the media. There are, we are so many medias that are affiliated to the federal government, so the federal government should please do better. This is where we draw our curtains for today, and we hope the federal government will make more improvements as regards these um, upcoming development for the betterment of the country. If you have anything to add to what we just said here, please slide to our comment section and drop your comments. Do well to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe, like I said earlier. Turn on your notification button, connect with us across all our social media platforms. Of course, you do not want to be missing our notifications, our updates. My name is Obed Jerry, your co-host for today, and this has been the CIA Corner here on Tap TV. Have a lovely weekend ahead.